Hello, my name is Professor Cindy Becker, and I'd like to take a few moments to talk to you about the Arts and Humanities Year here at the University of Reading. We run a series of foundation programmes at Reading, Science Foundation Years and Arts and Humanities Foundation Years. In Arts and Humanities, these are for students going into our School of Literature and Languages and our School of Humanities, and you'll be working with staff and alongside students from both those schools during our foundation year. So our foundation degrees are philosophy with foundation, classics and history with foundation, English language and linguistics and English literature with foundation. You might be thinking about why you would complete a foundation year and we've been thinking about that too. The first is that you will enhance your academic skills base, which will give you the best possible start to part one of your degree programme. We've also designed a fully immersive learning experience, so you will be exploring ways in which you might work across a range of subjects. We know that sometimes students find the transition from school or college life to university quite challenging. And so whilst you're with us during the foundation year, we will help you get a strong grasp on what life is like at university. Because you can explore other areas whilst you're with us, you will get a good sense of the sort of student you want to be. And you'll also be working as part of a wider group, certainly with other students within the Arts and Humanities Foundation year, but also for your academic skills, sometimes along science students. You also have the chance to reinvent yourself. You no longer need to be the person you've been up until university. University for all students is a great time to try things out and try to think about the person you want to be. You also crucially have the chance to change your degree program at the end of the year. As long as you're successful in what you're doing within the foundation year, we can work with you to think positively about whether the subject that you chose of your degree was absolutely right for you or whether you'd like to move on to a different degree program. All students at university complete 120 credits per year and this for our foundation year students is divided into four modules so effectively four courses. You'll do two 40 credit core modules which deal with your subject areas, one 20 credit subject specific module and then one 20 credit module that's dedicated to the development of your academic skills. Our 40 credit modules for all students taking the Arts and Humanities Foundation year are Perspectives and Humanities and a module called Identities. The skills module that's subject to your, specific to your subject is Persuasive Writing and this will give you a sense of how to write as if you were, for example, a book reviewer, a journalist, a political analyst, all sorts of writing is explored within that module. And it's thinking about how you persuade people through your ability to write. And then the key academic skills module will give you all the grounding you need, not just in your foundation year, but also moving on through your life at university. Once you've completed what we call part zero, that is your foundation year, then you go into part one of the programme of your choice and we work with you to make sure you can get the right programme for you. And then when you begin part one, the first year of your full undergraduate programme, you have exactly the same options as any other student um, coming into that degree programme. We know that moving from school or college, moving into foundation year, particularly actually for those students who perhaps haven't just left school or college but have had a, a break in their studying, it can be quite tricky. And so we've put lots of things in place to help you with that. We have student support coordinators. They'll be dedicated to your area of study and they are your first port of call in all sorts of aspects of, as we've indicated here, all aspects of your studying life. So we know they're important and certainly we as academics rely on our student support coordinators to help our students. You will also have an academic tutor. Every student within the foundation year, but in fact, in all of our degrees across the arts and humanities has an academic tutor, one person who is their person, the person they go to for any help they need with their academic life and how it's developing. It'll be somebody from your target school, so the degree that you're planning to go on to. And in most cases, you would keep the same academic tutor right the way through your time at university. We know that continuity is important. You have somebody you can turn to throughout your time with us. 
we like to teach you in a variety of ways to keep things interesting, to keep you engaged, and also to help you work best with your particular learning preferences. So there'll be lectures, seminars, practical classes, but also workshops and group activities where you'll work mainly together with us just dipping in to help you and also independent learning. Independent learning is, can be a huge challenge at university for many students. And so within the foundation year, we make sure you get all the support and scaffolding you need to help you with your independent learning. You'll be working with other students within the foundation year and from not just our schools, a range of other schools. And also you'll be taught by a range of academic staff from a range of schools. And what I mean there is that you'll be taught by our heads of schools, heads of departments, professors, um, as well as a whole range of colleagues from across our schools. So we, we really want to get to know you as students. And we know the best way to do that is actually to get know, to know you in the classroom, in the seminar room and to work with you. So we've designed the programme to allow you to have exposure to a range of staff, all of whom will be happy to talk to you about your particular ambitions for your life at university. You may have questions, I hope I've answered some of them, but if you have more questions, please do feel free to email us at the address that we've given here. Good luck with the choices that you're going to make.